So this is how it looks like at the end. And you can eat it with rice. Hey guys, welcome to Ugly Food Kitchen. So today we're gonna make some tofu. I want to say the first, if you're vegetarian, you can skip all the meat I use in my cooking. You just don't have to use it. So, I know a lot of people like to eat tofu, or maybe just me, but sometimes the tofu doesn't taste good. Why? Because for tofu, you have to fry it and then boil it. You know, so the outside is crispy and the inside also has flavor. But before you fry it, you make you put put you soak it in the egg like look there's egg here and i make the tofu covered with the egg and then i fry it okay um, so for tofu you have some firm tofu like this one look it's very firm and some soft tofu i suggest you use soft tofu and when you chop it chop into big pieces because when you stir it in the in the wok, you will break it to smaller. So now you can chop it into big pieces. I like soft tofu better. Uh, I suggest you only use soft tofu. It's more difficult to control, but it's okay. And when you pan fry the tofu, you put them one by one in the pot. Look what I'm doing. Make sure it deeply nicely in the edge. And you, then you put it in the, in the pan. And then, as at this time, the fire, the heat should not be too high. Like I put a level five, you should call it some medium heat. So it, it doesn't burn the tofu. And when you fry it, like really quick, you should change the side. So each side of the tofu got fried nicely. So guys, as you can see, this tofu is pretty much fried. This is how it, look it, how it looks like now. Now you have to take it out one by one, but not just all of them. And why I'm taking it out, please check here. Here is what we're going to put in the tofu. What are they? This is some shrimp garlic chopped very small ginger chopped very small a very little chili chopped very small and i remove this remove the seeds because i don't want to make it too spicy and some mushroom and here are some pork belly where if you don't you don't have pork you can use chicken or whatever you you have or you can eat, just ignore it and here we have some wedgie which is going to use later so the philosophy of cooking tofu and uh, cooking potato and all these things is same basically you want the flavor goes into the tofu because tofu have no flavor right and how is we're gonna boil it and all we're trying to do is make all the flavor of you know ginger garlic meat goes into this tofu so the to tofu tastes better so we take all the tofu out we still have like a pan with hot oil in it. We're gonna put the meat first in the hot pan. Why? Because this is pork belly and pork belly are pretty fat. So we want to fry them longer to let the fat go out. Okay. After you fry it for like, I would say one or two minutes, we'll put all the spice and fry it a little bit. Okay guys, as you can see here, I'll also add some green onion, the white part of green onion. Now we already fry the pork for like one, oh my god, two, three minutes. We're gonna put all this spice and fry them. To let the flavor come out. Look at the pork now. And when you're letting all this spice fry, you can chop the veggie, which I have already done. So there are some pepper, there's some carrot. Why we put it? Pepper is kind of a spice. It adds more flavor and also it's very healthy to eat. So for the same reason, we 
I'm trying to eat more veggie. So we have some carrot here, and we also have some bok choy. We're gonna put it at the end. As you can see, all the spice got nicely fried. You can add the veggie. I mean the pepper and carrot. And I fry them a little bit. As you can see, all the veggie are a little bit fried. We're gonna add the soy sauce. So here we have some soy sauce in this bowl. And we have some rice wine. If you don't have, you can skip it. And I also put some oyster sauce. Just a little bit like a spoon. Uh, and I'm gonna put some water in this soy sauce to make like a little bit little soup. And I'll add all of this to the pot. Boy, let's uh, I will leave it here with all the spice and white veggie and uh, until the water is boiling. So now as you can see. I already put all the tofu in the boiling soup. Just make sure every tofu is it touched water. And here, because the water is not very enough, we're gonna add a little bit. Make sure the soup touch each tofu. But not too, too much, right? I don't want to make a soup. I still want to make a tofu. So now you can see the pot look like this. We'll leave it to boil for about 10 minutes. So the tofu absorb all the flavor from all different spice. As you can see, we'll boil it for about like 10 minutes. A lot of water vibrate and the, the tofu is changing color. So this is time we put the veggies. And after we put the veggie, we just need to stir it very slowly to not break the tofu. So now, as you can see, this dish is almost finished. I already add salt and a spoon of sugar and now I'm gonna add some green onion on the top and I take it out.